here from the West Salem location of the La Crosse County Library. Welcome back to Book Talk. Today I have three books to talk to you about. The first one is called A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Edwardson. So this story has a steady build of suspense that explodes into a tantalizing climax that, well, I didn't see coming. 18-year-old Stella's father is a pastor. Her mother is a criminal defense attorney. They paint the portrait of a picture-perfect family. That is until Stella is arrested for murder. How could Stella be connected to the murder, the brutal murder of this older man? Stella's parents are devastated naturally as she is held in prison awaiting her trial. So everyone in this book is lying a pastor and father, a mother and defense attorney, their teenage daughter and murder suspect, and a best friend. They are lying to the police, to each other, and to themselves in an effort to protect someone they love, to preserve that picture-perfect family that has begun to crack well before this current situation, and ultimately to protect themselves. This story is filled with ethical difficulties that give me pause on more than one occasion to consider what I might do if I were presented these same circumstances. So that is A Nearly Normal Family. The second book I'm going to talk to you about today is called Need to Know by Karen Cleveland. So Vivian is a CIA agent. She's a counterintelligence analysis. She's good at what she does. She has developed an, an, an algorithm which enables her department to identify Russian sleepers. Now a Russian sleeper is someone who is, she's, they seemingly ordinary people who are living their everyday lives. However, their lives are lived within the United States and they are naturally a threat to national security. So when Vivian manages to access a computer of a Russian operative, it should be cause for celebration. However, this discovery will threaten everything she holds dear and will put not only herself, her own life in danger, but also those of her husband and four children. So that is need to know. Um, the last book I'm going to talk to you about today is called The End of Her by Sherry LaPena. So this book starts out with Stephanie and Patrick. They're happily married with twin girls. Now they're sleep deprived. They're girls. They have colic, but otherwise they're happy. That is until Erica arrives. She's the character that you love to hate. Erica makes a shocking accusation, one that turns Stephanie and Patrick's lives upside down. Patrick says his first wife's death was an accident. Erica claims it was murder. Erica wants money in exchange for her silence. Now Stephanie supports, completely supports her husband totally, but when Erica and the police start probing, Stephanie's trust and her husband begins to falter and doubts in their relationship begin to crop up. Who is telling the truth? And that is the end of her. Thank you so much for joining us for Book Talk and we'll see you next time.